in the garden in the month of August in the south. And this year it's been inordinately dry and extremely hot, probably the hottest and driest summer we've had in years. And I have this wonderful fig called panache. It's a variegated fig that I bought 20 years ago from California. And since that time, I've had it asexually propagated by cuttings and have rooted a lot of them myself and given them to friends. They're parthenocarpic. They produce, they produce fruit without sex because all of it occurs inside the, uh, what we call the fruit. The word in Greek is sikos for fig, word origin for our word called a sycophant, and which is an obsequious flatterer or what we might commonly call a brown noser. But in ancient Greece, figs were so valued that it was against the law to export them. And I think how the word evolved was that somebody would go around and find out who was putting figs on the black market and go to the authorities and turn them in for doing it. And therefore, and they, they wanted to make themselves look good. So they became called sycophants. It was the fig leaf that Eve, after having eaten, quote, the forbidden fruit, which is, was probably something that had to do with fertility or sexuality. It always has been thought to have been the fig, but the role the fig played was fi simply to cover up her nakedness. And it is, in my opinion, the beginning of fashion because it was the first form of apparel that mankind ever wore, which fig leaves to cover up their nakedness.